Welcome everyone. This is Flo with Sammy. I'm Sammy. And today we're going to get into our lower back here. And there's so much great healing powers that happens with yoga. So let's go ahead and start lying on our back. Just getting comfortable here. Settling in nice and easy. And the beautiful thing is doing a little bit of yoga every single day will kind of help prevent some of these back aches. So allow yourself to just settle in here feeling supported by the ground beneath you, allowing gravity to just do its thing. And slowly just finding stillness here, staying with your breath. Noticing your inhales, lifting you, creating space. And your long, easy exhales just softening you, settling into the space you've just created. And slowly begin to hug your knees into your chest. Maybe you interlace your fingers and gently rock a bit here, side to side. Just getting into a nice little lower back massage here. Not flexing or forcing your way through. Just staying with your breath as you rock. And on your next inhale, gently relax your arms into gold pose, allowing your knees to fall over to your left and giving a gentle twist of the neck, looking off to the right. You get to control how twisty your twist gets, so maybe you want to ease the knees away if it's too twisty for you. Or maybe on your inhale, you bring them closer to your chest to deepen that twist. Just staying with your breath here. Breathing big and full. And on your inhale, slowly begin to lift your knees back up, coming into center, hugging them in here. Maybe even give a gentle rock side to side. And slowly bring your arms into goal pose and leaning your knees off to the right, looking off to the left, settling in here. This side might feel a little bit different and that's okay. So maybe you feel like you want to deepen this twist by bringing your knees closer to your chest. Or maybe you want to just ease them away. Doesn't really matter. Just allowing yourself a few moments to find what feels really yummy to you here. Breathing big inhales. And long, easy exhales. And on your next inhale, gently hug your knees back into your chest, rocking it out here, nice and easy. And slowly bring your feet to the mat, bring your palms long at your sides. And slowly we're gonna go ahead and just a few pelvic tilts here, just rocking and arching, rounding and rolling. Just moving with your breath, your pace, nice and easy here. These can be small little movements, or maybe they're a little bit bigger for you. Not really worrying about what it looks like, but just really connecting to how it feels here. A few more, just like that, just rounding and arching your pelvis. And on your next inhale, gently hug your knees back into your chest, allowing your palms to wrap along your kneecaps and just having your knees drape away from your torso. Maybe you just hang out here, feeling that stretch in your shoulders and your neck, or maybe you slowly make gentle circles with your knees, showing some love to your lower spine here, nice and easy as you round from one side to the next. And on your next inhale, maybe you reverse those circles here. Staying with your breath. Nice and easy. And slowly just hugging your knees back into your chest. Hugging your knees in here. We'll gently extend the left leg long and hug in the right. Just making gentle circles here, getting into your hips nice and easy, just rolling around, staying with your breath. 
And on your next inhale, gently cross the knee over the body. Go for a twist here. Maybe you look off in the opposite direction. No need to flex or force. Just allow yourself a few moments to settle in here, letting your breath just ease you in. And on your next inhale, gently hug your knees back into your chest. Just give it a good rock here, nice and gently. And easing that opposite leg long, hugging in your left knee. As you get into your hips on this side, making those circles. They can be as big or as small as you like. And on your next inhale, go for a twist here, bringing the knee across the body, looking off in the opposite direction. Just feeling your breath expanding here and settling you in on the exhales. And on your next inhale, gently hug your knees back into your chest. Give a good rock. And on the next inhale, just suddenly make your way to one side. Breathing big and full and on the inhale, press your way back up into a comfortable seat. If you like, maybe even go for a few rocks here. Both options are available to you. Maybe you hold on to your feet, just allowing yourself to just get into your spine a little bit deeper here. And when you've had enough of this, we'll meet into a comfortable seat. Nice and easy. Settling in. Maybe rock a bit side to side as you find your way into stillness, allowing your palms to relax on your knees. Taking a big inhale as you sit up tall. Easy exhales. You slowly begin to tuck the chin and round down, hollowing out the belly. Inhale, rolling everything up, looking all the way up. Easy exhales. You round down, hollowing out the belly. Inhale, rolling up, moving through a few more of these, just like that with your breath, your pace, and easing all the way down. Inhale, rolling all the way up, sitting up tall, feeling the length in your neck. Easy exhale, tucking the chin and rounding out here. And slowly walking your palms forward, coming into tabletop. And in tabletop, we're getting into our spines just a little bit deeper here as we rock a bit side to side, maybe even back and forth. And maybe we start to roll through a few cat cows here as we round and arch, moving with your breath, your pace. And maybe these cat cows start to look less and less like a cat cow and more and more like you. And so you're getting wild, getting connected to your body, your breath, and just moving and grooving however feels good to you. Maybe it's a few rounds and twists and leaning the shoulder forward and back, or maybe even just rocking side to side. Just finding whatever feels good to you here as you slowly begin to settle back into child's pose. And child's pose, just staying with your breath. Slowly just walking your fingertips forward, maybe even tenting them here. Taking a big inhale as you lift your chest slightly. Easy exhale as you soften everything back down. A few more, just like that, allowing your breath to carry you all the way up. Feeling long in your neck, space in the shoulders. Easy exhales, you soften all the way down. Maybe even walk your fingertips a little bit further out as you find space through your breath. Inhale, lifting all the way back, coming into tabletop and gently making your way to downward facing dog, tucking the toes, shifting your hips back and up. And in downward facing dog, maybe you keep a generous bend in your knees as you rock a bit here, side to side. Pedaling out your feet, maybe you press one heel down and the opposite palm. Just allowing yourself just to get into all your little nooks and crannies here, just opening up the body, creating space. And in downward facing dog, take a big inhale, lifting your heels high, coming up to your tippy toes. Easy exhale as you settle it all the way down twice more. Inhale, lifting high. Easy exhale, softening here. One more time, allowing your breath to carry you all the way up. And settling everything back down. And on the inhale, rounding forward to plank pose. Softening the knees down, lowering down your hips all the way down to your belly. Staying long in your neck here, just getting into your 
full body. Maybe you rock from palm to palm, staying with your breath. Easing everything up here, tucking the toes, shifting your hips back and up to downward facing dog. And in downward facing dog, maybe you're pedaling out your feet, rocking a bit here. Inhale, rounding forward to plank pose, softening the knees down, lowering your hips all the way down to your belly, staying long in your neck, lifting here. Giving that rock a bit palm to palm, nice and easy. Maybe the head tilts a little bit more. Inhale, lifting into your up dog. Easy exhale as you tuck your toes, shifting your hips back and up to downward facing dog. One more time, rounding to plank pose, softening your knees, lowering all the way down to your belly here. Just finding your strength, your grace your breath. Inhale, lifting your chest. Easy exhale as you slowly shifting everything back to child's pose. And in child's pose, just staying with your breath, feeling your inhales expanding your chest, creating space. Easy exhales as you soften here, slowly bringing your fingertips to meet your toes as you soften here. And as you're breathing here, maybe you even gently rock your head side to side. Nice little massage there for the forehead. Great if you have headaches. This is your go-to. And on your next inhale, slowly begin to bring your palms to your, the sides of your knees. And easing everything up until you're having a seat on your heels. Maybe your palms relax on your thighs. Taking a big inhale through the nose. Long, easy exhale out through the mouth. Twice more, just like that. Big inhale, easy exhale. One more time, take the big inhale you've taken all day and let it all go. Thanks so much for practicing with me. This is yoga for back pains. A little bit of this each day will keep you right as rain, feeling great, feeling awesome. Be good to yourself, be good to your body. Until next time.